Hi, tonight from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today, book is Snow White from 1993. So let's get started. A long, long time ago, in a faraway kingdom surrounded by thick forests, there lived a little princess with raven hair in a beautiful, fair complexion. She was so pure, her skin was so fair that her name was Snow White. But while Snow White was growing up, an evil queen came to the kingdom. So proud was the queen of her own beauty that every day she would go to the hall of mirrors and consult with the great mirror there. Tell me, mirror, I command, am I the fairest in the land? The queen would ask, and the mirror would always answer, In all the land there are none so fair as you, O queen with golden hair. Until one day, the enchanted mirror could not longer conceal the truth. On that day, when the queen asked, You are, wait, you there, mirror on the wall? Who the fairest one of all? The mirror gave her the most unwelcome reply. There time for truth and time for text. But you, O oh queen, must face the facts that Snow White beauty so... Sub, right, subline suppress your a thousand times. The queen fled into an uncontrollable rage and called for her huntman. She ordered him to take Snow White deep into the forest around the kingdom and leave her there. The wild animal will surely gobble her up. In the forest, said the evil queen, and so the huntman sadly took Snow White into the woods, and when he was sure she was quite lost, he left her there. Where am I, Snow White asked, and she wandered and wandered through the dark forest until she came to a secret clearing in her heart shore. A little house, a pretty little house right in the middle of the forest, Snow White exclaimed. Snow White knocked and knocked at the door, but nobody was home. So she opened the door and walked in. Inside she saw a strange sight. Why, there are seven of everything, Snow White said. Seven beds, seven places at the table, and seven little chairs. But this house isn't very tidy, Snow White noticed. So she cleaned and scrubbed until she got very tired and fell asleep, laying across two of the little beds. When she awoke, it was dark outside. The house and seven of the strangest little men she had ever seen were looking at her for very puzzled expression. One of them had a big wide grin. She wore a frown. One was smart at a whip. Another was a clown. One was naughty and one was just as sweet as can be. In the seventh, well, it seemed like he couldn't stop chipping over his own two feet. Who are you? asked the smart one. I'm Snow White, she answered, and told the story of how she came to be in their house. The seven little men were gold miners. They had long white beards and wore colorful peak caps, and they liked Snow White very much, so they invited her to stay and keep house for them. Meanwhile, thinking Snow White was gone, the evil queen confided, it, approached the great mirror. Now the mirror on the wall, am I not the fairest one of all? The queen asked, and the mirror replied, Past seven green hills, ten leagues away, seven small men bade Snow White stay to cook and clean and lend a hand and be the fairest in the land. The queen was so angry, she didn't know what to do, but when she recovered her temper, she covered herself in a black, in a big black cloak, and set off into the woods. The evil queen made her way to the little house, and saw Snow White inside. Then she sneaked up the path, 
you know, left a beautiful red apple just outside the door. And if someone had put it there for a gift. That will take care of Snow White, the queen smirked. I have dipped the apple in a magic potion that makes people sleep forever unless they are kissed by someone very, very special. Later that day, Snow White went outside and saw the apple. What a beautiful red apple, she said. I wonder which of my little friends left it for me. Then because it was close to lunchtime and she was very hungry, Snow White took a big bite. Oh, I'm so tired, she said, and in the middle of the day, she fell fast asleep. When the seven little men came home from the gold mine, they couldn't wake her. Wake up, wake up, wake up, dear little, oh, dear lovely, beautiful Snow White, they shouted and begged and pleaded. But Snow White didn't wake up, and all they could do was tuck her into bed. Days and weeks and months went by, and leaves in the trees turned brown and fell from the trees. And the little house was covered in snow, and even when spring came again and the flower was in bloom, the bird was singing, still Snow White slept. Until one day, a handsome prince on a magnificent horse came into the forest. He was just out for a ride, but when he came up on the little house, he was curious. Hmm, I wonder who lives in there, said the prince. He knocked on the door, and when nobody answered, the prince went in. Hmm, he said again. There are seven of everything. Then he came to the bed and saw Snow White fast asleep. Her beauty overwhelmed the prince. And he impulsively kissed Snow White very, very lightly on her lips. Immediately, she sat up. Oh, where am I? How long had I been asleep? Snow White asked. And who are you? The prince told her all about himself and asked her to marry him and come live in, the, in his castle. Yes, I would marry you, my prince. Snow White happily agreed, and when the seven little men returned home, that evening a great party was held to celebrate Snow White awakening. From there on, each time the evil queen asked the enchanted mirror, O oh, mirror, tell me, can it be? Is Snow White so far far than me? The mirror replied, At last, my queen, I have to say, Snow White beauty grow greater with every day. And the queen would her teeth and pull her hair, but there was nothing she could do because Snow White was safe in her very own castle, living happily ever after with her very own prince. And Snow White still went back and visited the little house in the woods at any time she wanted to see the little men with a big wide grin and the one with a frown and the one who was smart as a whip and the one who was a clown and the one who naughty and the one who was just as sweet as can be and especially the seventh one who still seemed like he just couldn't keep from tripping over his own two feet so that was snow white from 1993 so if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a great day with another video coming out real soon.